this is the conclusion, right? Reaching the next billion customers. You just need to read this paragraph, just one paragraph, right? Usually the conclusion can give us a better idea of what is the problem in the case that we want need to solve. Okay. Then you can look back at the head, look along. So we read the introduction. You should be finished reading the introduction and conclusion by now, right? Skim reading. So then look at the headings. Selling the science of beauty. Okay. Uh, organization. Local consumer understanding. Do you understand this heading? Local consumer understanding. Uh, brand diversity. Maybe it's marketing. Regionally focused rollout. Fame by association. Marketing as recruiting. From print to digital. And the last one, reaching the next billion customers. So that's the first step of the case study, is to guess the problem. Guess what the problem is in this. Uh, so step one, read introduction and conclusion and heading. So if you like, you can write this down. It can help you to study case study again in the future, right? It's a way for studying case studies. Okay, so we read the introduction, conclusion and headings. And then we try to guess the issue. <coughs> Or problem. So just discuss with your partner, especially you can look at the conclusion paragraph. Okay, conclusion paragraph in this case is giving us a good idea of what is the problem or issue in the case. So look, read the last paragraph again, discuss with your partner. What do you think is the issue of this case, the main issue or problem in the case that we're looking at? So it doesn't have to be the right answer now. It doesn't have to be the right answer. Okay? But just discuss and what do you think? Look back again and discuss with your partner what do you think the main issue is in the case. <coughs> Thank you. 
So if you know what the issue or problem is, then write down what you think is the issue or the problem. So write down. Uh, also, we can use this here. Right. So the first step here is defining the problem. You can use this worksheet. So if you want, you can type on the computer or you can just write. We're going to follow this. Writing down the problem okay, is the first step. So just I'll put up on the, on the Geisha pan. want you can type in here and save it or otherwise you can write it down okay on on the paper So you can download this. So this is just a, a form that we can use to help us to analyze. Do you understand analyze? Yes. Analyze, that's what we're doing. We're analyzing the case of Gloria. So first of all, I want to define the problem. So <coughs> no, it doesn't matter what you write down. It doesn't have to be the right answer. We can change it later. Okay? So just write down your idea, your idea of what the problem is on this case study. Or what issue is going to be the main thing we're going to be analyzing. It doesn't matter if it's right or wrong at this stage, we'll go back and edit it later. So Kim Gongju, what do you think is the issue of the case? Yes. For example, they, they expand their market and increase their share. Okay, so any <coughs> marketing issue, right? They want to expand their business, make a more market share. Where, especially? Uh, emerging market. Okay, so it wants to, especially it wants to increase its share in the emerging markets. Okay, and what's the problem with this? There's too risk. There's going to be some risk, right? Why? Um, in the future, mm -hmm. um, the demand or just customers um, is changed. Yes, what kind of thing do customers want? They want more size-related product. Okay, so what's this here? They're, they want innovation, creativity, flair, intuition, right? They want things to be cool. Um, and he thinks they are not qualities which go with global companies, right? Big global companies. So this is the problem for L'Oreal, right? In the conclusion, they want to get bigger in all markets and emerging markets, but because they are such a big company, can they still be cool? Can they still have these kind of things? Do you understand these words? Innovation. Do you understand innovation? Creativity. Flair. Do you understand flair? Flair mm, means like showmanship, almost like a showman. Showmanship. Or some kind of, you're dancing. You, it, you do some very, a little bit like uh, creativity, but more like uh, also kind of art, that kind of thing, right? Uh, intuition, do you understand intuition? Understanding, understanding the market, 
right? Imagination. So if you want to work for L'Oreal, now you have some words to write on your CV. <laughs> you know that L'Oreal wants to do these kind of things, right? Are you that kind of person? Are you this kind of person? Hmm? Yes or no? Do you want to work in marketing for L'Oreal? Someday? Well, it would be a good idea if you have those traits, right? They want to, they want to be able to keep these traits even though they're doing a global brand of a global company. Okay, so they're doing some global strategy, but they also need to do some customized strategy. Okay, so a little bit like Pepsi, they have to get make some kind of localization strategy for people. Okay, so if we look at our uh, this analysis worksheet, we can skip the second box. It's maybe not so relevant in this case. List any outset, outside concepts that will help us. But we could write here globalization, right? We already studied about globalization. So the globalization theory we could write here. That can help us to understand about this customization against standardization. Uh, we studied about the emerging markets, right? Emerging markets getting more important. That could also be applied here. But we'll uh, go on to the next part. So the next part is we write down qualitative data and quantitative data. So this is the longest part of the case analysis. So do we have to understand every single word in this case study? What do you think? Or there are seven pages. Do we have to understand every word on the seven pages? Is every word on the seven pages relevant to our problem? No, can we skip some parts that are not relevant? Yes, right? So step two, wait, we're, we are going to find the relevant information. Do you understand relevant? Yes. Find the relevant information <coughs> and data. Relevant to what? Relevant to our issue. The issue of that we figured out from the introduction and the conclusion and the headings. Okay? Find the in relevant information and data. Now we are going to put that data into two headings. The first heading is qualitative data and the second heading is quantitative data. Can anybody tell me what is the difference between qualitative and quantitative data? Quantitative, we don't. Uh, uh, quantitative, we possible uh, numerical data. Hmm? Quantitative is like numerical data, like percentages, numbers. Quantitative data, we uh, we possible measurement. Yes, we can measure, right? And qualitative data is human's emotion. Hmm? For example. Feeling or opinions. Facts and opinions, usually. Yes. So usually here we write facts and opinions. Evidence related to or based on the quality or character of something. Our fact or our opinion about something. Here we write something based on the number of something. So if, if you don't know that, you should write that down, right? Qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative is facts and opinions, right? Quantitative is num numerical data. So this is the longest part. What we do is we go through, we read the case, and we, we find the important data from the case and also we have some materials at the end of the case like this is more going to be mainly for quantitative data, right? This kind of thing. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide up each part of the case. I know it's, it could be confusing to read one part when you didn't read the part beforehand, right? But I think it's okay, and you're going to try and find the relevant information, just the important... You can do that two ways. You can find the information which is important for the issue, or you, you can just write down three or four sentences of the main point of the section that you're going to read. 
Okay. So <coughs> we have uh, one first section selling the science of beauty around the world. Then organization, that's two. Consumer understanding, three. Brand diversity, four. Maybe it's marketing, five. <coughs> Regionally focused rollout, six. Telling the story, seven. Fame by association, eight. Marketing as recruiting, nine. From print to digital, ten. So we have ten things and we have 18 students. So two students will read one part then at the end, maybe just one student can read, right? So uh, let's start over here. You two guys <coughs> can read about selling the science of beauty around the world. So most of these, it's going to be less than a page, like half a page, right? Most of the time. So you just need to read half a page, and we're going to write on the board what is the important point, okay? How long do you think it will take you to read this half a page and find the important points? How long will it take you? How much time do you need? Eight minutes. Eight minutes? Okay, let's say ten minutes, right? So read your part and tell me the important information. Okay, then the next two guys, the organization. The organization is more background, so you don't have, this might not be very relevant, but just you can tell us the main point, right? Next one, local consumer understanding, right? This sounds relevant. You two guys need to read this and tell us the main point. Then, uh, Vera, you can read by yourself, brand diversity. Okay, then the next two, you can read, maybe it's marketing. Okay, then uh, Martin, you can read regionally focused rollout by yourself. Okay, then the next two students, you can read telling the story. Then the next two students, you can read fame by association. This is on page six. Okay. Then uh, you two guys can read uh, marketing as recruiting. And you two guys can read from print to digital. So you have quite a short one. Marketing as recruiting. So does everybody know what they have to read? So just read it and tell me the main points and uh, <coughs> take about 10 minutes to do that. <coughs> Remember to write down the main points uh, from your part. If you like, you can write some here. What we are going to be doing is filling up this box with qualitative data and quantitative data, right? Maybe your part has some link to the graph. <coughs> there you can find the quantitative data. It will say figure two. Then you can go to the end of the case and find out where it is. So for example, uh, <coughs> understand every word, right? Just the main point or the important information.
when you're reading, if you see the same word three or four times, then you need to check the word, right? It's a key word, but you don't need to check every word. If you don't know some words, that's okay. Right? If you see the same word repeated again and again, then you need to check the text. Does Google Translate work well? No, usually it doesn't work well. Korean.
Okay, so take one more minute. Take more time. No, you're gonna use the like from the computer or print it out or you can just write on the page write the issue the relevant information then in the end we're going to make some uh, analysis right so just I'm saying you should be writing down as we go along okay so I'm going to write on the board the information that the students are going to tell me but you don't have to write down everything for your case study just you can write down what information is relevant for the issue, okay? Do you understand? So you don't have to write everything I write. You can if you want, and then later you can change it. So let's start with the background. So today we won't be able to do, we'll continue in the next class, okay? So if you didn't finish your part, you can uh, finish at home and tell us in the next class, okay? So the first part, is uh, just introducing about uh, L'Oreal and the organization, right? So you guys did this selling the science of beauty around the world. What's the main point here? I'm writing there. Mm. I'm going, you tell me and I'm going to write down. Uh, our, our main point is L'Oreal's cosmetic which is chro chronology. Yes. So this chronology show constitu <coughs> constituting MNA and pattern. So they mainly use acquisition stra strategy. So they're using an acquisition strategy? Yes. What kind of band branch did they? Can you give an example? For example, US company Maybelline. Maybelline? Yeah. Do you know Maybelline? No. Maybe she's born with it, maybe it's Maybelline. It's a famous advertisement. Yes. Okay. Have you seen that advertisement before? Maybe she's born with it, maybe it's Maybelline. They're trying to make the point that she wasn't born beautiful. Maybe she was born beautiful, but maybe it's the cosmetic product, right? It was a famous advertisement. Okay, anything else from here? They start. You, they started all uh, in 1907, right? That's just, we don't need to, to put, include that. This is kind of background, right? With hair coloring. They were started with innovation. They always had the innovation, right? Anything else? 
Anything else on this part? And they focused on five core business and technologies. Hair color, hair care, skin care, color cosmetics and presence. Yeah. Right, so say that again. Their main business is hair. Hair color. Hair color. Yeah. Hair care. Hair care. Yeah. Skin care. Skin care. Color cosmetics. And Cosmetics yes. and yes. fragrance. Fragrance. Right. Do you understand all those things? Fragrance, fragrance is perfumes, <laughs> like perfume or something that smells nice. Fragrance means a nice smell. Do you buy any of these products from L'Oreal? No. Why not? <laughs> High price. Too expensive? Maybe yes. you're a student, right? So after you start working, it might be more. Okay. Uh, anything else in this part? We're starting new manufacturing in Asia. They're manufacturing in Asia now? Yes. Anything else? That's it. Also, they're targeting men more, right? Yes. These days, at the end, it says they're also targeting men more. They were mainly... ...focused on women, but well, nowadays they bought some... They acquired some brand like Diesel. Do you know Diesel? No. Diesel. Uh, do you guys know Diesel? I know Diesel. Okay. So, uh, just <coughs> they. This is in India, right? They have a manufacturing plant in India. So the next part is the organization. What's the main point for organization? Uh, L'Oreal's operations were divided four divisions: mm -hmm. uh, consumer product, luxury yes. product, professional product. Yes. Uh, active cosmetics. Uh, so consumer, luxury, professional, professional, active cosmetics. And active cosmetics. Yes. Okay. Each division had its own marketing team, mm -hmm. structure around individual brand to ensure brand inter Integrity. 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 So each of these, they don't have. They all have their own marketing team, right? They all divisions have their own marketing team. What's the difference between consumer and luxury division? Um, what do you think? Luxury division the oversaw the prestigious international brand select. Prestigious international brands, right? Yeah. Maybe sold in the very high level store or in the duty free in the airport. What about consumer products? Consumer products. What does consumer mean? Sobija. Sobija. Distributes, distributes the through mass market channels and generating over half of the company's prospect sales. So more mass market, right? More for people with the average income, right? What about professional products? Um, offer specific hair care products for use by professional hairdressers and product sold. Okay, so not for end consumers, right? For hairdressers or makeup artists, those kind of people. Okay, and the last one, the active cosmetics department. Created and marketed products for select, selective distribution through pharmacy and specialty health and beauty outlets. So they sell some products in the pharmacy for health, health and those kind of things also, right? So anything else from this part?
So the point, main point is that he says each one is separate. They're like their own box. Okay, they're doing different mar different marketing for each of these, and they want to keep them separate. Okay, if we mix our luxury and consumer product 